Well, Geelong, of course, was already an established town when the gold rush um, ha you know, happened. But it, it um, a, a, and actually at the outset of the gold rush, Geelong was for a while more or less abandoned as, as many of its inhabitants rushed off, you know, to try their luck on the gold fields. But it wasn't long before a lot of them returned. And then also it, it, it became a sort of resting place too um, for many, because it was a, um, already a, a busy port, um, many people came straight from, you know, straight to the port of Geelong on their way to Ballarat. So they, there was quite a lot of coming and going. Many um, quite elaborate hotels were built during this, this period, places like the Terminus Hotel, the Bayview Hotel. Which, um, which boasted you know, um, sort of elaborate rooms such as a ballroom and um, you know something like over 40 bedrooms to, to cope with the number of visitors that were coming and going. Um, and then, of course, many gold diggers that weren't so successful um, returned or you know came back came to live in Geelong. You know, some of them went to Melbourne, of course, but many came to Geelong and set up. In various businesses and uh, and so on, and um, but Geelong's population you know, um, just grew tremendously during the gold rush period, and later it was eclipsed by places like Ballarat and Bendigo, and um, it, it sort of went into a, a decline for, for some time, and it didn't actually emerge again um, as a sort of growing place until the early um, 20th century again.